Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. And today we are going to talk about two of the most used solvents in RPLC. One is methanol and a second one is acetonitrile. You must have heard and seen practically that the acetonitrile is a little stronger than methanol. It has the higher elution strength as compared to methanol. So the today's point of discussion is why acetonitrile has more elution strength than that of the methanol in reverse phase liquid chromatography. Let us begin from the structure of these two compounds. The first one is acetonitrile has got C triple bond N as a polarized function group and that actually makes the uh, ACN polar. However, the methanol has got hydroxyl as a functional group which makes methanol polar. There is a very important difference between methanol and acetonitrile though they are polar in the nature. The acetonitrile is called as a polar aprotic solvent means which do not have the hydrogen on to the electronegative atom. So as there is no hydrogen connected to the nitrogen present into the acetonitrile, this compound becomes a aprotic solvent. Similarly, methanol is a polar protic solvent. Now what makes a methanol protic solvent? Because methanol has got the hydrogen connected to the electronegative atom present there. It is the oxygen now. Isn't it? So oxygen is directly connected to the hydrogen and that makes the methanol polar protic solvent. Though they are both the polar solvent, their properties are not same. One is a protic polar solvent and another one is the uh, protic polar solvent. This is just the definition of the polar protic solvent and uh, the polar protic solvent can form the hydrogen bond with the solute because they have the hydrogen, isn't it? So they can easily form the hydrogen bond. And here are the examples of some of the protic polar solvents like water, methanol, acetic acid, etc. Here is the definition of polar aprotic solvent. We, just, we discussed about this definition. And the polar aprotic solvents are unable to form hydrogen bonds with the solute. In case if the solute do not have the hydrogen and our aprotic solvent also don't have the hydrogen, isn't it connected to the electronegative atom? So it will not able to form the hydrogen bond. And these are some of the examples like acetonitrile, acetone, ether, etc. Let us now try to compare the electronegativity values of uh, the different atoms present into these two compounds. And these are the values. Oxygen has electronegative value of 3.44, nitrogen has got 3.04, carbon has got 2.55 and hydrogen has got 2.2. Now what makes the bond polarized? The difference in electronegativity makes the bond polarized. So greater is the difference, greater will be the polarity for the compound. So we need to understand the difference in the electronegativity between these bonds. So carbon and nitrogen because nitrogen is an electronegative atom and this electronegative atom is connected to the carbon. So we need to understand the difference between nitrogen and carbon and how much it is? It is 0.49 means difference in the electronegativity. Similarly, the difference in the electronegativity between oxygen and hydrogen is going to be 1.22. So we just talked about what makes a bond polar. The more is the difference in electronegativity, more is the polarized bond. And hence the more is the polar compound. So on this logic, which compound according to you is going to be more polar? Is it acid or methanol? Hmm? The more is the difference, more is the polarity for the compound. So with this logic, methanol becomes more polar than the acetonitrile. Now this is a very important uh, point as per as why acetonitrile has more elution strength than methanol in RPLC. See in general in RPLC our stationary phase is going to be non-polar in the nature. It is called as the hydrophobic interaction and our mobile phase is going to be slightly polar in the nature. 
let us take this example now you have the c8 or c18 bonded stationary phase and these are our two solvents this is acetonitrile nitrile and this is a methanol let us first try to understand the like attracts like rule means what the non-polar compound gets attracted towards the non-polar stationary phase or non-polar compounds get attracted to the non-polar compound and polar compound get attracted towards the polar compound that is a like attracts like now we have the same stationary phase c8 or c18 and if you select acn and if you select methanol in which solvent there will be a good attraction with the stationary phase or which solvent will have the better attraction with the stationary phase and here we need to compare their polarities and we just understand that the acn is less polar than the methanol now as our stationary phase is also less polar or non-polar and acn is less polar than the methanol it is but obvious that the acn will have the stronger attraction with the stationary phase as compared to methanol because methanol is polar as compared to acn so comparatively the stationary phase is going to select acn for the interaction and you can see which is represented by the size of this particular arrow the bigger is the arrow the bigger is the interaction the thinner is the arrow the thinner is the interaction now if there is a compound present into a sample and let us assume that that compound is a non-polar in the nature. So that is going to have the good amount of interaction with the stationary phase. But along with your analyte, your solvent present into the mobile phase is also going to be a competition in the competition. Because everyone wants the, uh, the share of the stationary phase, isn't it? So your mobile phase organic solvent like methanol or ACN is also in the competition with your analyte. But let us understand what is the degree of competition from the methanol. Now, as we said that the methanol and mobile methanol and stationary phase are not going to have the better interaction. And because of that, the analyte which is having a non-polar nature will get the preference by the stationary phase. So, our non-polar analyte is going to have a little less competition from the methanol. I hope you understand this point. And when you talk about ACN now, see ACN is less polar than methanol. So it will give a little uh, higher competition or more competition for analyte as per as this interaction with the stationary phase is concerned. Because stationary phase is also going to prefer ACN as compared to methanol being a less polar, isn't it? And because of that, your um, analyte is going to have the uh, little more competition for analyte and hence let us assume this is your analyte just for the example as in case of methanol there is a less competition your analyte is going to stay longer time on to the stationary phase isn't it because your stationary phase is not preferring the methanol and hence there is going to be a good possibility that the analyte will get longer amount of attention from the stationary phase it's get written for the longer time however in case of uh, acetonitrile now it is also in the good competition and because of that your acetonitrile is going to repel sometimes your analyte out of the stationary phase and making it to elute a little early so the polarity of this methanol or as ACN is going to make a change as per as the retention or the illusion strength of the organic solvents are concerned. I hope you understand this particular aspect. And this is just the example where you will see the same ratio of water methanol 4060, same ratio of water ACN 4060. Still you will have the different retention time. Column, everything remains one and the same. So that makes very clear that the ACN has a more illusion strength as compared to methanol in the reverse phase liquid chromatography. But is this true for all the situations? Now there are certain options or you know uh, reasons why there is a different selectivity. Especially in case uh, we just understand that the ACN is a protic solvent. 
and it actually works with the dipole dipole interaction however methanol is the protic solvent has got hydrogen and it actually works with the hydrogen bonding principles so there is a difference how these two solvent functions acn is functions with the dipole dipole interaction and the methanol functions with the hydrogen bonding and this may make a little change in the selectivity of the compound sometimes and here is the example for phenol and benzoic acid now this is the elution order in the methanol as a mobile phase maybe some portion of aqueous will be there but methanol is the organic solvent uh, phenol elute first which is represented by the green pick and then the benzoic acid which is represented by the black pick let us look at the elution order in the acn as a part of mobile phase you will find that the complete reverse in the elution order you will find that this benzoic acid actually eluted before the uh, phenol so this is possible because now acn and methanol is not only interacting based on to their polarity but also how the mode of interaction one is with dipole dipole interaction which is acn and the second one is with the hydrogen bonding that is methanol the second important point where the in case if you are using the phenyl column now phenyl column where you can expect the pi pi interaction if your compound has a pi electrons that you can say in the cresol ortho cresol meta and para cresol now this is the pi body now in this situation your compound is going to get preferred pi pi interaction to get retained on to the phenyl stationary phase and this is the elution order in case if your mobile phase contain some portion of methanol and some portion of aqueous buffer the orthocresol elute first followed by metacresol and followed by the paracresol now what is the elution order in case if you replace the methanol by acn and here is the important point now you can see that the orthocresol and metacresol has got merged with each other and the resolution between even metacresol and paracresol has also got reduced now this indicates that the acn has reduced the possible pi pi interaction of your analytes with the phenyl stationary phase because acn has also got the c triple bond in the pi electrons and pi bonds so the c triple bond in electrons mean the pi electrons present onto the acetonitrile is also going to interact with the the phenyl ring present into the stationary phase and that way the acetonitrile is going to restrict or reduce the pi pi interaction possible for the analyte so it is not advisable to use the acetonitrile in case if you are expecting a pi pi interaction between your analyte and the stationary phase so if you are using the phenyl column or penta uh, fluorophenyl preferably you must avoid the acetonitrile so let me know what is your thought on this particular topic in the comment below thank you so much